Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's late November, four in the afternoon. There's a lot to get done today. First off, who's this guy? Yeah. Yeah, no. There we go. I've got you eventually. I thought with all the noise in the background, um, inky apparently. Inky. There you go. Have some dinner. Right. So, <clears throat> following on from the last episode where we're doing a bit of a A thing on the glade. Um, I'm going to run with the theory here. So I managed to, I think, let me just check it now, I reloaded it. It was another day that I'd done it, not info trigger field info. It's yeah, this sword has, has lost the field information now because I've painted it, which is good because that's what I want. I don't want it to be a field. I can't paint this side for some reason. So I got a plough and I went a bit ridiculous. So I decided this set it's constantly telling me it needs ploughing, so I thought I'll plough it all up then. Fine, let's do it. I managed to get all the way up to the side, but then to repaint back in over it's not allowing me to get into certain points. So I thought it's getting late. What I'm gonna do this is the last chance we've got to plant any grass. So roughly this is the sort of size field I want and then a headland around it for now so I'm going to get the stone picker collect all the stones up and then seed it as quick as I can while it's Still a bit of light. I mean, it's November, so the clocks have changed over in the UK. So, you know, we might not get all of it done. Although, to be fair, I don't need to do those bits. It's these bits that I need to get. Sorry, mate. They're really struggling with a uh, Oh there's the cedar. I forgot where I'd put it. But then I'm hoping this will also help us to get precision farming better. Let's just get all the stones up because there's not we're not picking up a massive amount of it. And I don't want to be doing this when these trees have started to form. Oh, missed a bit. Got me roller on the back ready to go. Sorry again, mate. If this works, I'm fairly tempted to plough behind the sheep's barn and then lay down over a texture. Mm. 
And so that seems to be a bit better on the control. A bit of a slide out then. Not perfectly rectangle, but I'm not too fussed about that. I just want to try and get it done. Uh, before night time. Sorry guys. And obviously I don't want all of this wool to be covered in this freshly ploughed mud. more insulation I suppose with winter coming from nice little soil coat it's quite a large experiment but if this does work then maybe just maybe I've solved a bit of a what I find to be a bit of a prop if you're doing Attingham Park and precision farming if it was all literally laid out as field Precision farming's not really going to help it. Or help you. Uh, we're going to be full, aren't we? Big 650 litres. And we will. put that in a we'll pop that in a trailer <laughs> New sort of, but not. That's not important. Let's uh, incense here. My uh, incidentally, my cedar does not uh, fit through the gate. Oh, 
Which, um... Oh, have we got all of them? Don't think we've missed these bits too much. We're sliding around a hell of a lot. Inky getting annoyed by something. Inky, I've never known of a dog called Inky. Not a bad name for a dog, I suppose. I don't know why I'm doing this book because it's going to get painted. I'm going to be wasting valuable daylight hours. Because I've got a feeling the. patterning on the seeding is going to be all over the place. Yet he still carries on and gets the last bit. Hmm. Whoa. Ooh, that could have been entertaining. All right. To the Massey Ferguson. I accidentally painted over the um base part of the olive trees and um, may have made quite the mistake in doing that. Uh, let us be careful here. Do not want to be going outside of the painted marker. Well, I suppose I can just repaint if I did. Oh, my days. Uh, lower. Turn on. Yep, grass. We don't turn on. Just does it. No, oh, can see a difference. That's nice. And it's fertilising as well. So that's. Double bubble.
I was actually thinking of making it smaller, to be honest, and more uniform, but I thought we'll just follow the curvature of the fence. I mean I can, I probably will try and neaten up along these bits. Yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> Should have popped these in the pen really, shouldn't we? <laughs> if only was, there was the option. Then I suppose a really big a decent sized grass field for them as they get to a, a bigger flock would make a bit of sense. Although couldn't you just have them as they could, you would just let your sheep feed on a wild grass meadow as well I suppose wouldn't you maybe the better quality of grass will be better for the diet we'll go with that theory for the argument Nitrogen levels are not looking brilliant considering this is doing both. Is it going down even? Oh! Need to pay you to do it, mate. Do it yourselves. Thank you. Yeah, the solid fert's going on as well. Doesn't seem to make it much of a change, but...
and nicely finished at our only entrance and exit point. Time to see to roll to the Massey. Again, eggs is not accepted here. Got eggs over there, mate. Know what you're on about? You not like an egg? I don't know what you're chewing on. Don't eat the seeds. Is a bit annoying as I can't particularly see where we've rolled at this angle anyway. Unless I literally go the opposite way. That's why you like to do this sort of job during the daytime. just about make out a difference on there. Just. And then, I suppose, it'll be a bit late, so we'll, um, do the uh, painting and stuff back in the daylight might see if I can knock out a quick bailing contract overnight 
we've not slept in game for months. And it is our last opportunity. Luckily we've got loads of hay for the sheep to keep them going while we wait for this to start germinating. And um, we'll plant meadow grass all the way around the headland anyway. So there'll be uh, a little bit of something for them to snack on. Little treats if they want to head out to the edge with some a few flowers and stuff. We'll put some bushes and bits in as well. Try and keep it looking fairly realistic he said raising his eyebrows All right, that's got the top end I think is rolled we'll just pull it down as we do this pass over in case I spot any difference in the ground texture or well, the, the lighting of it really not much of the texture I'm moving a little bit in this corner Good. Wait, where did that? Well, easy to get into that side of the tracks, so there's nothing in the way at all. <laughs> Nearly a quarter full, the amount we'd got on that. There we go, right. That'll do for the evening. Am I gonna do it to that? Just have a quick look at what it's done to the map. Well, the environmental score's gone down again. It was 60 last time, wasn't it?
It's literally everything is silty clay. Just got a bit of loam up here. Interesting. Um, yeah, what to do with this bit? I'll put it all up. totally could do and just redo the whole thing and I don't know what to do with that if we can't We can't paint it. Maybe I should plant over that as well, just in case. Mm. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, it probably makes sense. planting on this side as well, aren't I? That bit should definitely be able to be. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. This needs a bit of work doing on it, no? Right. See you all in the morning for some landscaping. So we are back at the small holding. Uh, I've been around the outside. and uh, painted in as much as I can. It seems to be the map patterning just, um, it is just like this, so there's not a lot I can do about that. Unless we were to buy that field and that's way too expensive and way too big at this point. Uh, put a bit of 
forest ground around the trees just to mark them out as well. This uh, potentially could get very expensive. I've had a bit of an issue with the mowing contracts overnight. I think some of the contracts I took when it hit December, because they hadn't been started, they just cancelled them off. And we're sort of stuck with a bit of it. But we'll get to that shortly. Now the bit behind the shed, I don't think I'm going to plough that up. And... and make use of that because I've got a bit of a idea for that area and that's a little bit disappointing because we're uh, <laughs> we've got no contracts to go through the winter uh, I think we'll put some forest ground down around that tree as well oops it slipped that's okay we'll just repaint that This is where this is where the money goes. Right, let's Is that the smallest? Should I get it to match or is it alright to leave a gap? I'll run alongside. Yeah, that's that's taking the money in it. If I should just plant over it. Hmm. 
bleating away because they're very happy that there's some grass appearing again. Ooh, nearly. Wow, so this is costing a fortune. Running over for it. It's going to be a bit tricky. I don't need to put that neat on there. Come on, a few bold patches. Saves us a couple of quid. That all looks very lush. In this section. Do 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 dee 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 dee. Might have to cut it just to get some money back. <laughs> Twenty grand already. I'm not far off. Um, put a few spatterings in 
and around. There's probably going to be something happening down around here, so... Bushes, £25 a pop! Oh, indeed. Okay, let's stick a couple of bushes in around there. Too bad, does it? I think I'm fairly happy with that. I'll leave that bit just as a tester point and test that area. It's lovely with the sunlight in the morning. Let's have a little walk around it. <laughs> Eggs are not accepted here, obvs. That don't look too bad. And then we've got one big old meadow. A little bit overgrown for this time of year. And then this will grow nice lush. Grass wise, am I going to take the grass out? I'll have a think about it.
Yeah, I don't think that's too bad actually. And now we just have to play the waiting game on the experiment to see if it pays off. What do you think? Better? Very happy. Right, now I'll jump in the tractor and take these back to the BGA and I'll explain to you what the next problem is. So the contracts that we've got, or the one that we were doing, um, a bit of stone action there. Yeah, there is. Um, oh dear. I don't know what sort of state that's giving it. Is that ploughed? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh well. Doesn't say there's weeds growing yet, which is annoying. Um, running out of time. The contract said to to deliver to the BGA. We've got it, dropped it all off. It's um it's everywhere. And it hasn't completed contract. So I don't know if there's an issue with contracts or for the pumps and hoses. BGA. Uh, I'm a little bit lost at this point. But uh, yeah, said uh, contracts just stays open saying mow the grass in 26, bail it, wrap it, make it so I'll take it to Barry's BGA tank. And we brought it all, but it's not moving up. So I don't know if it's because the fermenter is the tank. That's already full. So maybe this has got to run through all of the stuff that was in it before it gets to that. So we could have to wait months for the contract to complete. So again, I guess it's just a bit of a, uh, a waiting game. But not to worry, I've got plenty of, uh, I've got a few ideas for the next episodes and stuff, so I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please drop it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do to stay up to date with what happens with the experiment. Have I caused a huge mess or not? Um, fifty nine still. I suppose you've got to wait for time to pass before it's got to update now. Um, yeah, oh, eggs not accepted. I wonder what's causing that conflict. Um, yeah, if you want to stay up to date with future videos, please hit the subscribe button. And if you've got any comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section. I'm going to need to find something to do with this. Probably in the next episode. Because it might come in handy for what I've got planned. 
But until next time, thank you so much for watching. I bid you adieu.